Vlog number 89. Saturday, February 10th, 2024, 8.05 a.m. It is Saturday, meaning there's an iCarly marathon on. I love how every Saturday and Sunday, iCarly marathon's on. Love it. Because on the weekdays, this isn't on. I mean, if this was on, iCarly was on all the time, like during the week, I would never be bored what to watch. Unfortunately, it's only available to watch on the weekend. So I'm going to watch this till 9. 9 o'clock college game day starts. They're at Kansas today. Watch that till 10, and then I'll move over the couch and enjoy some college basketball. It's 8.40. I'll turn it to college game day in 20 minutes. I was just going to say, this is one of my favorite episodes of all time, and it's kind of crazy. This is only the second episode. I want more viewers. All the way back in 2007, this episode is a whopping 17 years old. That is crazy to think about. But I love this episode so much. It's kind of good because I'm not going to be able to watch iCarly today. I'm going to be watching college basketball all day long. It's a good episode to end out on. But of all the iCarly moments in history, this is my favorite of all time. Pee on Carl. I love this scene so much. I love it. It's so, so good. College game day starts in five minutes. College game day live from Allen Fieldhouse, Lawrence, Kansas. It's the Baylor Bears and the Kansas Jayhawks. Should be a great game tonight. I'm gonna watch this till 10 o'clock and board a couch. We finally have a made shot from Ellie McCarville. The first try it went down. The first try. That was epic. All right, it's 1014. I just moved from the bed. I'm now gonna play a game of NBA because most of the games today start at 11. There's like four games on right now. This is gonna be my only time to play NBA because once 11 o'clock comes, there is games throughout the day and I'm not gonna be able to have a time where I can play NBA. So this is my only time I'm gonna be able to play NBA. So I'm gonna do that now and then at 11 o'clock, you go to the couch. It's 1046, just finished playing the NBA game. I am turning the corner on offense. I have never done this well on offense. Back to back, 100 point games. If you look, I, I dominated in every single category except the time of possession because I was just getting breakaway layups every single time. I mean, it was just another dominating, dominant performance. I mean, look at this stats. Goldlock, 18. He was 6 for 6 from downtown. Jennings, 15. Carter, 12. Lynn, 12, 12, 12, 12. Everybody scored this game. Everybody. Except Herbert Jones, for some reason, put him in the game. I don't know why. Dominant game. Go sit down on the couch, watch some college basketball. All right, it's 11.50. Still watching all the college basketball games, but it is time to make the lunch for today. The lunch for today is going to be some white rice. With two pieces of toast, that's going to be the lunch for today. All right, it's 11.57. Here is the lunch for Saturday, February 10th, 2024. Two pieces of toast, some white rice, and Welch's grape juice. All right, it's 12.32. Just finished eating. The rice was awful. It did not taste like rice at all. I did finish it, but it was very challenging. But I'm going to sit here until the South Carolina game is over. That's the game I'm watching right now. It's a 10-point game, five minutes to go. And then once it's over, I'm going to take a shower because my head is starting to hurt, and I don't want it to start... Hurting all day long. Grizz play at 2 o'clock, so make sure I'm ready by 2. But as for now, I'm just going to sit here until this game's over. All right, it's 12.45. The South Carolina game just ended. They won 75-60, to 60, but it is now time to take a shower. Hopefully I can get done before 2 o'clock. I definitely will, but after I take a shower, depending on how much time, I'll either go to the couch or the bed. And then 2 o'clock comes, Grizz. Got to get a win today. Huge game. All right, it's 1.15. Just got out of the shower. Watching the Michigan State-Illinois game. It's on CBS. Tied at 44. The second half just started. I will sit here for another 45 minutes until two o'clock. And then when the Grizz play, two o'clock, go over to the bed. All right, it's two o'clock. The Grizz Northern Colorado game is just starting. You can see the records right there. This is between Northern Colorado. They're in second place. We're in third place. Whoever wins this game will be in second place. And that's very important because that means if you're a top two seed in the Big Sky Conference, you get a first round bye. Watching the Illinois-Michigan State game. Illinois up 74, 72 minutes, 50 seconds. Grizz. Got to get a win here. All right, it's 2.45. I don't normally do this, but I turned off the Grizz game. I'm now listening to it on the radio. I cannot watch this nonsense. Grizz have given up 47 points. They have 29. They're down by 18 at halftime. Such a huge game coming in. The Grizz could be second place. I talked about how big it was in the opener, and they're getting absolutely murdered. They're not defending anybody. They're missing wide open threes. They're missing layups. I'm done watching this team. I'm not going to waste my Saturday watching a team that doesn't want to play basketball. So I'll just probably listen to it on the radio. I'm now going to move over to the couch. I'll move over to the couch in about 15 minutes and watch the second half. 
Gonzaga's up 27-20. This is so random. Gonzaga's playing Kentucky. This is not a this is a non-conference matchup you'd expect to see at the beginning of the year. Middle of the year. Very, very strange. But it's on CBS. Gonzaga now up by four. We were the couch in 15 minutes. All right, it's 310. Just moved back over the couch. Just looked at the great score. It's 62 to 37. I honestly have no words. Such a huge game. Huge game. Grizz can become second place, which is going to be so impactful come March. And they do this. They're blowing it. Once again, they blew it. Just like Eastern Washington. They blew it again. Grizz going to go down. I'm going to sit on the couch probably till about 4 o'clock. I'm going to move back over to the bed. All right, it's exactly 4 o'clock. The Grizz game just ended. They lose 87-71. to 71. Very disappointing. Gonzaga is beating Kentucky 73-75 minutes ago. Whoa. I just tripped over that, but I'm not going to move back out of bed. I've been sitting on the couch listening to the entire game on the radio. I'm now going to sit on the bed maybe for an hour, and then I'll figure out what I'm having for dinner today. What a game on CBS today. Gonzaga up by 2, 86-84, 13-second differential, 26 seconds. I obviously want Gonzaga to win. Come on, Gonzaga, let's go. This would be a massive win for Gonzaga if they could get it. Th down to three. Goes in, layup, fouled. No, they call a jump ball. And Kentucky's got possession. Kentucky's got a chance with 13 seconds to either tie up the game or win it. Here we go, 13 seconds. What's Kentucky going to do here? Alley-oop, it's intercepted. And Gonzaga's got a chance to basically win the game if they make these two free throws. What a defensive play. Missed the first free throw. This to make it a three-point game. Got it. Here we go. Five seconds. Gonzaga up by three. And they foul. All right, he made the first. He's got to miss this. Kentucky has to get the ball. Bounce off the front of the rim. Gonzaga gets it. And it looks like Gonzaga's going to walk out of here with a win. This is a huge, huge win for Gonzaga if they make these two free throws. Here we go. Nolan Hickman. Second free throw on the way. It's good. And Gonzaga, a statement win in college basketball. Gonzaga wins 89-85. What a win for the Bulldogs. What a win. All right, it's 5.06. Just moved from the bed. It is now time to make the dinner. I have absolutely no clue what to make, so I'm just going to make something I know I always make. It's time for some Michelinas mac and cheese. Ladies and gentlemen, the mac and cheese is currently being made in the microwave, but I have absolutely no clue what to watch now. I can watch the Kansas game. I Carly, as I said, it's always on the weekends, but check out what started 15 minutes. I, I, Dodgeball, a true owner. This is my favorite movie of all time. I'm watching it. I'm watching. I don't care. I am watching Dodgeball the rest of the night. It's that good. Yeah. All right. It's 523. Here's the dinner for Saturday, February 10th, 2024. A Michelinas mac and cheese and a purple Powerade. All right, it's 5.52, just finished the mac and cheese. I'm now going to take a shower. And then once I get out, I'm gonna move back to the couch, sit there till seven. Just because dodgeball's on, I was gonna play a game of NBA, but I can't pass up dodgeball. Come on, I gotta watch dodgeball, so. Just get out, couch, dodgeball till seven. Take popcorn, begin the night. All right, it's 16, I just got out of the shower. I'm going to continue watching dodgeball, but the Kansas game, Kansas is only up 64-61. It is Kansas ball. 29 seconds to go. Kansas does not lose at home. This game's pretty close. I still think Kansas is going to win, but see what happens. Kansas just turned the ball over. 14 seconds to go. What will Baylor do? RJ Dennis goes inside. Kick out. Wide open. Three for the tie. Missed it. Kansas gets it. A big miss. That was the best look they could have got. And Kansas looks like they're going to survive. They missed the free throw. Here we go. Three. Open for the tie. No. Kansas wins. The Jayhawks survive at home. Oh, man. Baylor had two open looks from three. And they couldn't knock down either one. The Kansas Jayhawks survive. 64-61. I will turn it back to dodgeball and sit on the couch till 7. We're right at 7.02. Just moved over the bed. Made popcorn. Got my snacks over here. Dodgeball just ended. I'm now going to sit here for the rest of the night, but I left at you again at 8 o'clock. All right, it's 8-14, UNLV, New Mexico, tied at 70, 2 minutes and 22 seconds. Left at you again at 9 o'clock, just watching college basketball left and right. I love it. UNLV to go up by 4, got it. New Mexico is going to lose at home again. They used to be unbeatable at home, but this is going to be another home loss for New Mexico. That 3, I mean, maybe, eh, it's going to be a miracle to win this game. UNLV is going to win this one. 
Mexico goes down again. Point seven. No, there will not be a miracle. UNLV upsets New Mexico. Wow. All right, it's 9.32. Still watching the Kansas State BYU game. Sit here for another 30 minutes, and then I'll put all my stuff away. News at 10.30, then I'll turn on iCarly, because unfortunately there's no Jimmy Fallon, which oh, is very, very sad. But iCarly is a great alternative to Jimmy Fallon. In fact, let's see what episodes they're on. Jack in the Box and Del Paco coming to Montana. Will they come to Missoula? That's unknown, but right now, Del Taco, Jack in the Box, coming to Montana. You'll love to see it. I'm bringing it in and out. All right, it is 10.50. The news ended at 10.30. I've been watching iCarly ever since. Love iCarly. I mean, it is so, so good. I'm so glad they do this every weekend because I love watching Fallon so much. And when it, when Fallon's not on, before they started playing these iCarly marathons every day, I had absolutely no clue what to watch, but this is kind of just a you know alternative and I'm completely fine with it. I love it. It's only on two days a week, which is pretty unfortunate, but hey, I'm going to make sure I watch it whenever it comes on. So hopefully you enjoyed today's vlog. I'll see you tomorrow.